it's been raining a lot, so we're gonna have to do something a little different. Some of you may do this a little differently than I do, but, ooh, just about slipped off. We're gonna throw that right over top of that. Then, we're gonna lock it in place like this. Instead of attaching this to that to this, we're just gonna put it just like that. Then comes the fun part. Like that. Come on. I actually double up my chain. Then let's put it back all together. Stretch this out, put the chain around that hook down there. Oh, dang it. See, I had welded these on here so I could put the carabiners and things right there on it, but I forgot what dumpster I was hauling. Some of them have it, some of them don't. So that chain will loop right, loop right around that. Now that I'm all hooked up, let's pull it in. All right, let's get that thing lowered. And one of the only reasons I'm using that snatch block is because of the amount of books that are in here and uh, the fact that it's been raining for two and a half days and all those books. The guy says this thing is, is almost full of books. So if it's that full of books and they have all soaked up the water for the last couple days, that's going to be heavy and I don't want to necessarily put all that strain up there on my winch. Will it do it? Oh yeah. Does it need to? No. Let's back the truck up. All right. Now, you can see I'm not quite lined up right. All I'm gonna do is right here, I'm gonna put a little bit of pressure right there and push it on over. And as it pulls it up, it throws it right up against it. Now, is uh, using a snatch block slow? Yes. Yes, it is. But when it's been raining for so long, and everything wants to sink in about four inches into the ground, you do what you got to do. And you make sure that even though the homeowners know that this is going to happen, make it look at least somewhat, I don't know, respectable. Cover up those ruts. Don't just leave them like that or like that. At least throw the dirt back in it. All right, so I got those covered up mostly. Last thing you want to do before you leave somewhere, look around for any trash that might be on the ground. I know it seems piddly, but there's always something. And it never hurts. Hey never hurts to uh, clean up a little bit after yourself or after the homeowner. And 
and who knows? Maybe you find maybe you find 29 cents on the ground. Ooh. Before you get in the truck and drive away, don't forget to hit that handy dandy little button. Although you might have to move out from under the trees.